welcome back. Today's one of my favorite topics because we're talking skincare, but we're talking body specific skincare for the summer. So body skincare, I'm really happy to see that it's become so much more popular, especially over the last couple of years. People have really gotten a grasp of their facial skincare routines and they've started to realize, why do we treat our bodies any different? And the thing I'll say is that the skin on our body can sometimes be a little bit more resilient. So you can use, you know, like harsher scrubs, for instance, or, you know, you can exfoliate a little bit more often, but you still don't wanna to go too far because it's still skin. And the other thing I'll point out is that the skin on our bodies also doesn't get as much exposure, at least it tends not to if you're wearing clothing on a regular basis, not get as much exposure to the sun. So these are kind of the two biggest differences I would say, but really at the end of the day, we should be treating the skin on our body just like we treat the skin on our face. We should really be taking care of it and really tackle the issues that we experience on our body the same way we would tackle it on our face. So all of that said, you're about to see very body specific products products that I use right now on my body, especially as it's hot outside. But keep in mind that a lot of the time, if there's a skincare product that I bought for my face or that I was sent in PR, if I'm not using it on my face, I actually do try to use it on my body. So don't get stuck in this mindset that you have to only have body specific products. But at the same time, it is really nice to find very body specific products that can really target some of these issues. All right, so let's go to body wash first. And of course, I'm gonna talk about my own brand because we have some really amazing body washes. The two that I keep in my shower at all times, not even just during the summertime, but even more so now during the summer, are Naturium, the Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash, and also Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. So let me talk about them. If you get any clogged pores on your body, whether it's on your upper back area or your entire back area or your chest, anywhere that you might experience those clogged pores, this is the body wash for you. It is so amazing. We put 0.5% salicylic acid in here, but it's encapsulated salicylic acid. And that's really important because we wanted to make sure it's a salicylic acid that's going to remain stable, but also feel really nice on your skin. It's not gonna crystallize. We also made sure that we put into not just this body wash, but our other body washes that have these active ingredients in it, like our glycolic acid body wash. We used a technology called Coacervate technology. And what that essentially means is that we made sure that these active ingredients like the salicylic acid will actually penetrate on your skin and even after you rinse it off, it's still on your skin and it's still working on your skin and doing its job. So this one's really amazing because again, we've got that encapsulated time release salicylic acid. So you're not gonna feel like it's too strong on your skin, but it's still gonna work and it's actually working. For all those people that are like, it's a body wash, so we're gonna rinse it off, aren't we? No, you're actually not rinsing off the salicylic acid in this because of our coacervate technology. But the thing you'll notice about this is we also packed it with humectants like glycerin. And the reason why we did that is because salicylic acid can be very drying for the skin just by nature of it, right? It is an oil soluble exfoliant. So that means that it's going to soak up that oil. It's gonna break through that oil and soak it up and help clear it up. And that's the reason why it's so great for anywhere that you have breakouts or clogged pores, but that can cause you to have drier skin. So to help kind of balance that out, we put those hydrating ingredients in here, like I said, the glycerin, to just really make sure that your skin stays nourished and hydrated throughout the entire process of using this. So you'll feel it when you when you actually like get that texture onto your skin, you'll feel that it's got this nice plush gel-like texture and you can feel that it just, it's really nourishing for the skin, but it also sticks to your skin. That was like something that we really wanted from this body wash was, you know, if you're standing in a shower, we want to be able to like put it onto our skin and then still be in the shower and not feel like it's just completely rinsing off under the water. Obviously, if you stand directly in the water where you put it, it's gonna rinse off. But if you like put it on your body and let it sit, which is gonna give it even more time to go to work, then you can like shave your legs or something and then rinse it off and it's gonna stay there because we made it this grippy gel kind of texture. So. This one, definitely pick up. It's amazing. It's one of the best body washes ever. And I, I, I realize I'm biased, but I say that truly. Now you might be surprised that I say that the Glow Getter is also one of my favorite body washes for the summer, 
but it really is. Just because it's the summertime does not mean that your skin shouldn't be nourished. In fact, sometimes I almost feel like we need to nourish our skin a little bit more. We're hanging out in the sun more. We are at the pool, at the beach, and that water is drying our skin out, or the salt, or you know, being in the sand, all of that stuff. We're shaving our legs more in other areas of our bodies. You know, it's just, it's really good to have a body wash that nourishes your skin. When we were concepting all of our body washes, this was the first thing that came to mind for me because you all know that I love oil cleansers. I've always loved this kind of texture for a body wash as well, so I love this stuff. We call it an oil to gel formula because when you first pump it into your hand, you'll notice that it has almost like an oil feel to it. And even in the in the bottle, it looks like it's an oil. But as you start to spread it around in your hands, you feel it turn into more of a gel. And that's because we packed it with like more than 50% glycerin in here to really nourish your skin. So it has these really nice linoleic acid rich oils and the reason why we chose those oils is because we wanted to keep all skin types in mind so even people who feel like they get clogged pores and breakouts and everything you can feel really good about the oils that are in here because they're very nourishing for your skin too so this is really nice because you can use it to shave your legs you can use it obviously to cleanse you can use it you know after you've been in a long day at the sun and you just feel like you want to nourish your skin if you've been in the air conditioning for too long and you feel like your skin is really dry this is such a good go-to cleanser. The other thing is that we we kind of wanted this to be more of like a sensorial experience. And I know that fragrance can be a big part of that experience. So instead of making this fragrance free completely, we used aromatics. And if you're not familiar with aromatics, aromatics are ingredients that naturally have a scent to them that can also be beneficial for, you know, whatever product that you're creating. A really good example is that we have vanilla extract in here, right? So vanilla isn't an essential oil necessarily but it does have a beautiful, you know, just creamy scent that we're all really familiar with. So we put ingredients like that in here and it makes it smell really beautiful, but it's still very light and it's very gentle on the skin. This is such a beautiful body wash. And by the way, this is a brand new one. I want to point something out to a lot of people because we get comments about this. I mean, people have probably been dealing with this for years and years and years when it comes to pump anything, body wash, hand washes, any of it. So whenever it's this kind of like a, a pump top. We obviously want it screwed in so that it doesn't spill everywhere when it's being delivered to you or when you're buying it off of the shelves at like Target. But what happens is when it's in transit, sometimes the collar of this gets a little bit loose. Even if it gets just like a smidge loose, it makes this function not work because the way that this pops open is by a little mechanism inside of it that tells it to unscrew. But if this collar isn't tight, it won't unscrew. So if you find that your body wash pump or even your body lotion pump from us is just doing this. It's not opening up and you can't figure it out. Tighten this collar and I'm going to show you right now and then you'll start to turn it and see suddenly that function will work. It's kind of like magic. You just need to tighten it up even if it's just a smidge. So just keep that in mind. Speaking of cleansing, I just want to do a little shout out to my PMD body. This is of all the PMD products, this is probably the one I consistently use the most and mostly because you can see it's like a larger version of the PMD clean for your face. This one is for your body obviously and it comes with all these different attachments as well. So this one is like a massager. I don't really use the massager too much but I like it to like try to get the little knots out right here but you can see they're magnetic that way you can also like change out your loofah pretty easily I actually don't use the loofah too often sometimes if I want it to get a little bit more lathery I use this size the absolute most and I use it mostly on my upper back area so I'll pump the body wash on here and that's how I really get it on my back and that's why I really love it and this combination with the the pulsations from it really helps to just get all your rear breakouts to go away. So I love this stuff. I've been sort of trying to use this a little bit because it's for your feet. So now during the summertime, especially, it just kind of, when your feet are nice and soft in the shower, just to kind of get those rough spots with it. If you're wondering if I use an exfoliant in my shower, my, my actual body wash actually does a great job. I do love a good exfoliating scrub. For a while there, I was really into the one from Fenty Skin. I ran out of that. I've been using some lab samples of a scrub, hint, hint. So maybe that might be coming very soon, hint, hint. Or I guess like, that's not even really a hint. It's like very straightforward. But 
You get what I'm saying. So I do love to use a scrub occasionally as well. Now, when it comes to outside the shower, as far as my lotion goes, I have two of them that I've been just really loving. One is from my brand again, Naturium. This is our Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. And the other one is from Replenix. It's their Retinol Smooth and Tighten Body Lotion. So let me talk to you about these. All right, so when it comes to retinol for your body, I'm really happy that this topic is starting to become more and more of a bigger topic because we know, and you've probably heard me say that retinol is an ingredient that we should all try to get into our skincare routines if your skin can tolerate it. I know there are some people that are like, you know, your skin is too sensitive for it and everything, but I still think that there has to be a product out there for you. It's not necessarily this one, but maybe there's something that's more gentle that eases you in, or maybe it's just going really slowly. There are ways to get around it, but when it comes to your body, even if your face can't tolerate retinol, I feel like you should at least give it a try on your body. And like I was saying in the beginning, I actually use some of the stronger retinol products that I'm trying out or even my prescriptions and I'll even move them to my body. I have a C-section scar for instance. I put it on there because I'm like well out from healing. Like it's it's officially a scar now. And while most of it is pretty good, there's a little section of my scar where it's like still pretty bad. So I put my tretinoin on that on a nightly basis. I'll put it sometimes on my upper back if I'm really feeling like I'm getting some breakouts. And the rest of my body, you know, when it comes to like, you know, sagginess on your skin or like wanting to just make sure that the skin just looks as youthful as possible, I feel like retinol should still be that ingredient that you're going for, right? Like we talk about salicylic acid and AHAs like glycolic acid and lactic acid for the body, but what about retinol? That's still probably the more important one. So I've been trying a lot of retinol body lotions and this one has really stood out to me. This was sent to me in PR from the brand, so I appreciate that they sent this to me because it is a little bit pricey. It's about like $90 for this tube, so I acknowledge that it's very expensive, but I've been using it pretty consistently. I probably don't use it every single night, but I use it about three or four times a week and I really like it. It's a nice light body lotion. I even use it on my hands sometimes before I'm going to bed too. So this is really, really nice. If you can get retinol into your body, Skincare, I highly recommend it. I think it's an ingredient that is beneficial for both our faces and for our body. As far as my daily go-to body lotion, obviously I'm gonna go with the one that's from my brand. This was formulated to be a lotion that I would also personally love. I even use this on my children because it's so nice and just kind of straightforward. It has really nourishing lipids that our skin needs and our skin recognizes. But the thing that we did with this to make it just great for all skin types is we made this so that it's super nourishing and buttery feeling, but it absorbs very quickly, it spreads very quickly, and it doesn't feel greasy or sticky. I don't know if any of you like know what I'm talking about, but especially if you get out of the shower and you put on all this like body lotion or like a body butter, you know, sometimes like if I'm like going for it in my nighttime body skincare routine and I wanna make it like a luxurious night, having like a really rich body butter is nice to me, even if it is a little bit like sticky feeling. But if you're like getting dressed to go to work and you have to put on jeans or pants or anything like that, the last thing you want is for your body lotion to make your skin feel sticky. Yeah, I've like been in situations where I'm like, waiting to put my jeans on because my skin feels too sticky and my pants are gonna go up very easily, especially back in the skinny jeans era. So, you know, I've definitely been there. So we made this to dry down nicer. It has more of a natural finish to it, but it's still super nourishing and it's also fragrance free. And that's the reason why I use it on my kids too. It's just very nice and light. It's beautiful. You know I'm gonna bring up a sunless tanner. I actually, like during the summertime, I will try all sunless tanners. I'm totally into it, especially because I'm showing more of my body and everything. But I like to have my consistent go-to, and you've probably heard me talk about this brand before. It is Tan Lux. This is the body illuminating self-tan drops in light medium. The reason why I like this is because it's just super easy to add into your current body skincare routine. So anytime that I know I'm using this, I just actually, you know, get one droplet of it. And every time I do one pump of my body lotion into my hand, I do one pump of the dropper into my hand. I mix it together and then I put it on my body. I do it like once a week or so. So this actually lasts me a good amount of time because I know that this is a little bit pricey and it makes my skin just have a nice, kind of glow to it. I don't necessarily feel like it changes the color of my skin. It just makes my skin look a little bit more even and just a little bit more healthy and, and glowy. So I love this stuff. It's so easy to use. And in a pinch, like when I'm traveling and I don't wanna take too many products with me, I can also use this on my face in my like face moisturizer. 
As far as deodorant goes, I'm actually not like a major deodorant person because I feel like I'm not overly sweaty, but during the summertime that obviously changes, especially being in Miami, it's so much more humid. I'm really learning the way things work and that, you know, like the way I live in a different climate is completely different when you're in a place like Miami where it's always humid. So I have been really loving this deodorant from Salt Air. This is owned by my friend Iskra. So I knew it was just gonna be good to begin with, but I was so excited when I started using it because it really is so amazing. This is the fragrance Santal Bloom, but they actually have a few different fragrances that they have for this deodorant. They say it gives 24 hour odor protection. I was talking about how salicylic acid can be very helpful for eliminating body odor. They actually were really smart about the way they created this. This is a natural deodorant and I don't necessarily look for natural deodorants. I am totally good with using an antiperspirant from like Dove or Secret or any of those if you need it because sometimes you need to like really calm things down and I get it. But I've been loving this as my consistent go-to because it has this beautiful fragrance to it. So I feel like you're actually getting a little bit of like a beautiful, almost like a light perfume, but then you're also getting that protection. So it has salicylic acid in it. So it's helping to exfoliate your underarms and keep it, I guess like the skin a little bit smoother looking and a little bit brighter looking. And then it's also fighting that bacteria that causes the odor. So it's a really cool concept. It feels nice and creamy. This is a brand new one that I just got in PR, but I've I've actually already gone through two of these because it's refillable. So you actually just peel off the label and then you open it up and that's how you start to use it. But you can see it's really just like a very easy refillable kind of situation too where you take out the little capsule inside and then you pop in a new one whenever you're ready for it. So it's a really cool concept. And if you haven't tried these products, they have some beautiful fragrances. And of course, I'm gonna wrap up the video on my sunscreens because this is a big one for summer, especially your sunscreen for your body. I feel like people don't worry about it too much during the winter time because, you know, obviously you're wearing thicker clothing, you're more covered up. But during the summertime, not just at the beach, but you should still be thinking about the skin on your body when it comes to sun protection. So as far as my go-to body sunscreen that I use on myself and I also use on my kids, it is this one. I've been talking about it a lot. It is P20 Sun Care for Kids. This is not a new product or a new brand. This has been around for years. I got this in the UK, so I'm gonna throw that out there for people that are like, where do I buy it? I got it from the UK directly. I was in London. I've been ordering it from different websites and stuff that will ship. You can also go to like the Amazon UK website and you can get it to ship here as well. But I find that it's just easier. If you're gonna go on a trip, go to Boots, clear out the shelves. And even if you've just got a layover in the UK, like you're stopping in, you know, like the airport in London or something, they sell this stuff. So make sure you try to find it at like duty free and get as many bottles of this as you can because it's an amazing sunscreen, not just for kids, but for yourself. The thing that makes it so amazing is it's very like nice on the skin. It feels like a light lotion on your skin. It doesn't leave a white cast and it lasts for up to 10 hours. And I think that is such an important factor here because they're using sunscreen filter technology that is not available in the United States. It's unfair that we don't get these filters here, but you do get it in other countries and the UK is not an exception. They use these really great filters. It's great for kids. It's great for sensitive skin. In water, it lasts up to three hours, which is a huge deal for me because you know that your kids are getting in and out of the pool or at the beach and stuff and playing in the sprinklers, whatever it is that they're doing during the summertime, you want them to have protection for as long as possible because you know it's gonna be hard to wrangle them and get them to put more sunscreen on. So it's great to have this as like that first First layer that you put onto their skin. I especially love using this on my kids, even just on their faces, on the backs of their necks and their ears and stuff when they go to school. In the US, I don't know how it is everywhere else, but the teachers and the staff at school are not allowed to put sunscreen on your kids because it's considered a like a drug. So they're not allowed to do that for your kids. If your kids know how to put on their own sunscreen, which when they're a little bit older, they probably can do it, but my kids are too young still. They're preschool, soon elementary. They don't put their sunscreen on willingly. And and so, you know, like this is not something that I would like just put in their bag and expect them to do it. So I love having a sunscreen that I can put on them before they go to school and I know that it's going to last for the time that they're at school. So this is a really great sunscreen. I use it on myself. It says sun care for kids, but it's great on everybody. I love this stuff and I have bottles of it. And every time I go to the UK and luckily I'm spending more time in the UK um, for like the rest of the year. So pick this up if you can, get somebody to bring it for you, figure out a website to order it from. P20 Sun Care for Kids is so good. They also have adult versions. If you don't have kids, get the adult version. It's pretty similar, probably a touch more elegant. 
As far as sunscreen for myself that I'm just really loving right now, there's this one from Kopari. This is like the sunscreen of the summer. I feel like every person who wants to be a little bit glowy and smell pretty and also get their protection, this is the sunscreen to get. This is their Sunshield Body Glow Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It has 40 minutes of sweat resistance and water resistance. It also, I appreciate that it's SPF 50 because a lot of brands are launching sunscreens and we're seeing this boom of sunscreens coming from everybody but not everybody's doing SPF 50 and above. And I feel like if you're really paying attention to sunscreen trends, we now know that you want SPF 50, right? Like SPF 30 is the bare minimum. SPF 50 is where it's at, right? So I really appreciate that they went for an SPF 50, but I also appreciate that this feels nice on the skin. It's not your typical oil where it just looks and feels greasy. When you pump this onto your skin, it has this beautiful kind of like fragrance to it. It looks beautiful on your skin and it's just really nice. Like it encourages you to like put more sunscreen on your chest area and on your shoulders and everything. So, and on your legs, it's beautiful on your legs. So if you're looking for a sunscreen that also feels really special, then this one from Kopari is really great. And then the last one I wanna bring up is this one from MD Solar Sciences. This is their kid spray. It was sent to me through PR and I was excited to try this because I do like this brand a lot. This is a spray sunscreen with gentle protection. It's SPF 40, broad spectrum. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. And the reason why I really wanted to bring this up is not because like this is the best one out of all of the spray sunscreens out there. I really do like that it's like fragrance free and they really like took kids into account with this one, even though, you know, I think a lot of parents are like, always looking for mineral sunscreens, which I don't necessarily think is the best way to go. I think you should go for whatever you think is going to be comfortable to use. I don't rely on spray sunscreens as my main form of protection, especially for my kids. But I do think that they serve a purpose and I'll tell you what it is. The thing that I hate about these types of spray sunscreens is that whenever I'm like on vacation, so we're like at a resort and we're at the pool or we're at the beach, I appreciate that I see all these parents pull out sunscreen for their kids and try to like get them covered in sunscreen before they hit the pool. I only see people pull out these sunscreens now because they're so convenient and I get that, but these just don't give you the protection that you need. There are actually like two really important factors here. One is that when you're using a spray like this, it's hard to get that even protection. So make sure when you're using it, after you spray it on your body, try to at least spread it a little bit so you're getting a little bit more of an even layer. That's one of the big things. Like you've probably seen videos and stuff, I think on like even TikTok, where like people went like this and they sprayed it and then they got they get a sunburn that's almost like a squiggly line in places where it was missed on their bodies so keep that in mind try to spread it out after you spray it the other thing that you'd really need to keep in mind with aerosol sunscreens is that they are not fully sunscreen like it's hard to tell how much sunscreen you're getting and i think the person that explained it the best was michelle from lab muffin beauty science she has a phd in chemistry and she really breaks down a lot of the science information behind cosmetics and when i I saw her video, I was like, oh my gosh, this really explains it the best, the most simple. So I'm gonna just go ahead and play her video really quick. So here it is. Here's why I don't like aerosol spray sunscreens. These are the ones where you hold down and the spray keeps coming out. The problem with these is that they contain a lot of propellant, which are pressurized gases, they're liquid inside the can, and they push the product out. This study found that a standard aerosol sunscreen has about one third propellant, but it can be as much as 60%. SPF tests are done on the sunscreen without the propellant. So you're actually getting about one third less product than it's says. One of these bottles only has two or three full body applications. Some of the propellant also lands as liquid on your skin, so it's hard to tell how much actual sunscreen you've applied. Common propellants are listed as butane, propane, isobutane, or hydrocarbon on the label. So all that in mind, it probably sounds like I like hate aerosol sunscreens with a passion. I do not. I just hate the way that they are used and the way that they are marketed because it just gives you the sense that you're getting the full protection that you need when in reality, you're not. My favorite time to use an aerosol sunscreen, this is truly the only time I think that it's a great tool to have, is when you are at the beach and your kids especially have been in and out of the water and they are covered in sand and you need to reapply sunscreen at this point. If you've ever tried to put sunscreen on yourself or on your kids when they are covered in sand, when you're covered in sand, if you put sunscreen on, it just feels like you've created like a body exfoliant and you're not really getting that full protection you need anyway. And it, your kids start complaining, it feels like it hurts them. It can even be a little bit irritating for them. That's when I pull out 
the aerosol sunscreen. That's when I'm like, okay, this is gonna be better than nothing, and at least I'm gonna be able to get sunscreen on them. So then I spray this all over them, even on top of the sand that's covering their feet and their legs and everything. I spray this all over them and try to like just kind of pat it into their skin, and then I just continually spray this on them as like the rest of the day goes if we're still at the beach. So that's just something to keep in mind. I think this one is a really good one when it comes to aerosol sunscreens for your kids, but in my opinion, all aerosol sunscreens should not be your first form of sunscreen. These are really a good tool to have when you're at the beach. So those are the products that I'm using right now for my body for the summer. There are so many different body products coming out from different brands and everything. So I have been testing a lot of different products, but these are the ones that I find myself just like really going back to buying again, reusing, loving. I just, these are really good body skincare products, but I also want to like reiterate, use face products that you have purchased that are not getting any usage because you didn't like it for your face, bring it down to your body. You can use face products on your body. Do not waste them. Give your body some love. If you have any questions or any comments, if you have any body care suggestions, definitely put them in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy summer.